Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Octex Pokemon. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of an opening, a little bit of an update on the sealed collection, a little bit of the update on everything. <laughs> Alright, so I went to Target yesterday and I picked up some things for the sealed collection. But a, a couple days before that, my mom comes home and she goes, I have a present for you if you help me unload the car. Because she went out. Um, shopping to get some groceries and whatnot, and she brought back this amazing shiny Tapu Koko GX box. It's at, at Costco for a price of nine dollars. There are four packs in here for nine dollars. That is just over two dollars a pack. That is a really, really, really good PPPR price per pack ratio. That is what I like to call it. So I thought to myself, why not open this on the channel? It's got you know rips on here, like got a rip right here and it's got a rip right here why not just open this up there's no reason not to no reason to put it in the sealed collection they also have gengar boxes uh gengar ex boxes at um at costco as well for nine dollars it's got primal clash it's got um steam siege sun and moon base and one other set that i'm blanking on but those are you know that's still a good deal you're getting yourself some primal clash which is going up in value recently i would totally suggest you know hopping on that but then I went to Target, right? I talked to you. I already talked to you. I told you about the little sealed collection thing I got. We might be opening one thing from it, and it would be this Checklane Blister of Burning Shadows, because there's a huge, huge uh, rip in it. And honestly, if it weren't for that rip, I would have keep it, kept it sealed. Mm, I still might. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to see how this opening goes. But I already have, um, I already have this, I already have this. Mimikyu uh, team up sealed blister, so I might start a little sealed check lane blister collection. That'd be ac actually, now that I'm thinking of it, yeah, I'm gonna keep this sealed. This is gonna stay in my sealed collection. I'm starting a check lane blister sealed collection, and um, I'm gonna go back to Target. I'm gonna get some unbroken bonds sealed blister uh, as well. So cool, I just started a collection right before you. Live, not live, but as I'm doing this, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I just started a collection. Awesome. And then the main event here, which I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be opening any of this today. I got two more Hidden Fates tins. Yeah, so, whoa! I have pulled all of the good stuff from Hidden Fates. I do not need to pull anything else, really. So I'm keeping these sealed. In fact, I'm going to, like, put them up on either Facebook Marketplace or Mercari. One of the two. But yeah, these are going part of the sealed collection. Right back here. I don't want to cover up. I don't want to cover up, um, Xerneas. I don't want to cover up my Xerneas little poster here. It's one of my favorite pieces in my entire, you know, background. I got the Xerneas, I got the Detective Pikachu. We also got all that Hidden Fate Sealed stuff that I'm always going to sell. Like, I'm going to sell high, the market is high, I'm going to sell it. Simple as that. So, today I think we're just going to be opening a, a shiny Tapu Koko V-Box, which, eh, it's unfortunate, but... Why not, guys? YOLO, let's open the shiny Tapu Koko V-Box. Today uh, is my first day with the camera besides my birthday, and I realized something about the microphone. So this is, uh, my, I got a new microphone for my birthday, and I used it on my birthday video, and I moved it because it was in the way, and the sound quality was awful when I moved it. So I have it directly below my face right now. Like, it is right there. Oh, this box is not that cool. It can go in the trash box. Ah, I need to empty that. That is so full. Jeez Louise. Too much. Too much. But the microphone is literally right below me. I used to have it, like, right here, and it sucked because when I moved it over, the sound quality was just awful. But right here, it picks up the sound really nicely, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope it's actually better. You know, you gotta let me know if you think this is a better sound quality, same sound quality, anything like that. So this box right here is an interesting one. I have opened this box before, but not on the channel. Oh, it's got one of these. Let's see, can I do this without damaging the card? Yes. Yes. Woo! Got ourselves that shiny Tapu Koko V. V? No, Tapu Koko GX. There is a Tapu Koko V, though. I just haven't pulled it yet. I have opened this up, but not on the channel. I have opened this in Boston, actually. We have some friends that used to live in Boston. And I opened this box, uh, we went to GameStop together, and I pulled absolutely nothing. So this is the Redemption box. We got a huge Wumbo Jumbo card. 
we're going to put that. Honestly, it's going to go over to the side because I'm not going to be able to fit it. I don't, even, I, I don't have anywhere to put it. I'm going to put it on my desk. <laughs> Get rid of this trash. Woo! It's recycling, actually. Please recycle your Pokemon card byproducts, your boxes, your tin, not tins, your boxes, your packs without the cards in them, your cardboard, the plastic that comes, you know, the, with the promo cards, anything like that can be recycled, so please recycle it. Please save the earth. Here's your code card, uh, just for the shiny, shiny Tapu Koko box. So yeah, I pulled nothing in that original box from Boston, and it was a little, little disappointing. I wanted to get some good pulls out of state, but, you know, whatever. And so now, here we are with the redemption box. We got some interesting packs, for sure. We got Sun and Moon Base. We got Guardians Rising. Another Guardians Rising, the best set from Sun and Moon. Can't change my mind, even though Hidden Fates technically isn't Sun and Moon. Technically, it's a subset. So, of the main mainline sets from Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising is the best. And of course, Crap Siege. Seam Siege. Crappy. Alright, here's how we're doing it. We're doing it like this. That's easy. Quick little opening here. It's a classic ducky opening, I must say. We have not opened just straight up a collection box with four packs in a very long time. But I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try to save the pack art from the Steam Siege booster because... It's got Xerneas on the front, and y'all know how much I love Xerneas. So, that didn't work. It was... Mm, shame. Shame, shame, shame. And believe it or not, here's your code card one, two, and done. There's still something I need to pull from Steam Siege. <laughs> so yeah, here's Xerneas uh, Break, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> That's Xerneas Break. There's still something I need to pull from Steam Siege. Unbelievable, I know. But I need to pull a secret rare Gardevoir. That is what I need to pull from Steam Siege still. So, haven't done it. We've got ourselves a Zwilius, a Nidorino, a Special Charge, a Nidoran, a Clauncher, a Fletchling, a Huppip, a Sneasel, a Reverse Holo. That's not a rare? Aw, oh, boo. I thought that was a rare. A Reverse Holo Tangrowth and our rare is a non-holographic Galvantula. Ah, that, that makes me so mad that that was not a rare. Let's start with our first Guardians Rising, the best set in Sun and Moon by far. It's got Lycanroc, Dusk Form. Oh, that was a good pack rip. It's got Lycanroc, not Dusk, um, got Lycanroc Midnight, I believe. And that is the, that is a card that I'm using, a card, a Pokemon I'm using in the Isle of Armor right now. I'm working my way through the Isle of Armor. Here's your code card, one, two, and done. And I, I'm using a Lycanroc Midnight. Because I used Lycanroc Dusk Dawn The Midday It's one of the It's not the It's the orange one I used the orange one in Pokemon Ultra Sun Because it's really cool and it looked cool But now I decided to use the other Lycanroc form Because why not We got Slowbro We got ourselves a Komala Why isn't Slowbro a rare is the question We got a Carvana A Fletchling a lit wick, because this opening's gonna be lit. Uh a Gothita. A Pancham. A reverse holo. Jangmo O and our rare. It's a non-holographic Lunala. What what's good about that though is I do not have a non-holographic Lunala yet. So that's my first non-holographic Lunala. Next, we got ourselves the Sun and the Moon. Honestly, I'm gonna say it. One of the worst base sets to ever come out of uh Pokemon, in general. The worst. Here's your code card, one, two, and done. It was just, uh, it, there wasn't anything good to pull. You had the starter trio as GXs, and that's pretty much it. There was a secret rare... Secret rare something that was kind of... It wasn't the double colorless energy, it was a secret rare... I don't remember. We got ourselves a fire energy. A Metapod, a Team Skull Grunt, a Pinsir, a Roggenrola, a Marini, a Crabrawler, a Growlithe, a Surskit, a Reverse Hollow, Zubat, and our rare is a non holographic Stoutland. So we are batting 0 for 3 here. Wow, not very good. Stoutland's a good Pokemon to go, though, one of my favorite Pokemon actually. So 
I'll let it slide. I'm gonna try to be optimistic about this opening. We got some good stuff. We got some new stuff. We got shiny Tapu Koko GX. Who can who can blame us? And finally, we got ourselves the Creme de la Creme of Guardians Rising packs. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send you all the good vibes. Ready? All the good vibes have been sent to you, and now you need to give me all the good luck. And the only way you can do that is by clicking that like button, leaving a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, please click that notification bell to be notified every time I post. Please, that's all. That is how you give me the good luck on this pack. We're gonna have some last pack magic. I believe in us. Right? We're gonna pull something epic. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Last pack, Guardians Rising. Alola Ninetales are the best. <sighs> that pack can go away. Here's your code card, one, two, and done. One, two, three, four to the front. Maybe we can get ourselves a Reverse Hollow Rare, because you guys know I'm the king of Reverse Hollow Rares. So that's just a fact. It's a fact. We got ourselves a Fire Energy again. A Brooklet Hill. A Gliscor. An Altar of the Moon. A Jangmo O, a Talo, a Carvana, a Barboach, a Phantom, a Reverse Hollow Rare because I am the king of Reverse Hollow Rares. Politoed, and the final rare of this video is. Wow! Wow! Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No! That is not okay, Duck Squad. Did you see that? Did you see that out of four packs, we got four regular rares, not even a holographic, four regular rares, and an Oracoria, which is a really annoying Pokemon. Y'all, I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Okay, it was nine bucks, so it's like, really, how much, how much did you lose? But still, come on, guys, we pulled four non-holographic cars. Shiny Tapu Koko strikes again. I... I thought this is a redemption box. I at least pulled a hollow in the original. I pulled a holographic Lucario out of Guardians Rising in my last shiny Tapu Koko v GX box, which was over a year ago. I want to say two years ago, actually. Yeah, two years ago. Two or three. It could have been, no, I think it was two. But anyways, uh, we got crap pulls. It happens sometimes, you know? That is just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy, and hopefully my videos make you a little bit happier. Remember, I get the bad pulls. Uh-huh. So you don't have to. And with all that being said, I'm Akadats Pokemon, and I'm out.